division. There's some, a lot of division in our country, right? You can be a Trump fan, you can be a Biden fan, you can be a Trump hater, a Biden hater, you can be a mask wearer, a mask denier. You could be a Packer fan, I don't know who would ever be a Bears fan, but I'm sure there are some of them. But tonight, we're united. We're united because we all love Bobby and Maddie. And so, guys, it's just a pleasure to be here. I want to start off today by reliving the early days of Maddie and Bobby's love story. As we all know, Bobby and Maddie met in 2015 at the Fond du Lac Courthouse where Bobby was working and Maddie applied for a job. Of course, Maddie was her lovable self, personable, smart, beautiful, made a lasting impression on Bobby. Bobby, from the first time I met you, me being very sweaty and nervous in my interview, kind of like I am now, and you not making eye contact and nursing a hangover, to now we stand here ready to spend the rest of our lives together. I'm still amazed every day that you chose me. Maddie. You are, without a doubt, the most amazing human being I've ever had the privilege of spending time with. I knew I was going to marry you the moment we first kissed. My life changed that day. Prior to that moment, I was lost. I was solo Bob living a solo life. <laughs> and let me tell you, that life it was not nearly as fun as this one. When I first met you, you reminded me how people should treat each other. You have a genuine charismatic quality about yourself that is contagious. I wanted to say I love you as soon as we started seeing each other. I have never doubted for a day that I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with you. Maddie, my mom would have loved you with all of her heart. Her favorite thing to tell me was that life isn't measured by the number of breaths you take, but by the moments that take your breath away. Em, you take my breath away each and every second of every single day. I am so excited to start our future together. I can't wait to have a family. I can't wait to grow old and gray with you. Our many trips and vacations are some of my favorite moments we have together. I love going on adventures and exploring new places with you. I especially love being a total and complete beach bum with you. I know there were moments during the past year of this wedding planning that made this day feel impossible, but I couldn't have asked for a better teammate in all of this. Every day you make me feel loved. Every day you make me feel special. Every day you make me feel like I'm the only person in your world. We have made a beautiful life together so far and I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. Maddie, I love you. I'll never stop loving you. Thank you so much for making me the happiest person in the world. The other word I want to talk about is the word agape. It's also Greek, it also means love. Agape love isn't a feeling, agape love is a choice. I think the closest we can come to it as human beings is if you have children, you can kind of understand that, that deep-seated love, it's it just a guttural love you have for these, for these precious little kids that we have. I didn't realize, Bobby, that the first date you guys had, and you said it today, was at the movie theater, right? The Fox River Mall. The first time I met Maddie was in the parking lot at the Fox River Mall. Cammy and I were dating, and uh, she had this little, about one and a half year old daughter when I met Cammy. And I uh, met Cammy at the mall one day. I got into the passenger seat of her car, and I turned around, and there behind me in the back seat was this beautiful little one year old girl, your little car seat. I turned around and she looked at me, her eyes were wide. She's like, who the heck is this guy? She, she looked at me, who the heck is this guy? I looked at her and my heart melted. I just fell in love instantly. <laughs> it's me. Oh my gosh, Maddie. You're beautiful. Yes, thanks. Can I hug you or is that yes, off limits? Yes, no, you can hug. That's okay, thanks. I can hear it coming. Yeah. It's good to be a dad. Yeah, yeah. It's a good day to be a dad. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Man, I'm speechless. I know, it's happening. The other thing that um, most of you probably don't know is Maddie's first visit to a courthouse wasn't to see Bobby. Maddie's first visit to a courthouse was actually about a year after, a little over a year after I, I met her in that, that backseat of that car. 
It was a closed hearing. Maddie uh, and her mom and I and my folks were there in this courtroom, and little two-and-a-half-year-old Maddie sat on Judge Nolan's lap. She was sitting on his lap while the judge asked me if I really wanted to become her dad, if I did indeed want to adopt her. And um, how could I say no? I said yes, without hesitation. Oh, gosh. How weird is that, huh? <laughs> I'll just tell you about it. You can yeah, that no, way. that's where I, you adopted me, right? That's where you became. Yeah. Yeah. It was a closed hearing, so they couldn't, you know, we couldn't have photographs. Yeah, yeah. But um, I remember it like it was yesterday. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. I chose you. Mm-hmm. I know. And if I could go back and do it again, I'd do it all again. <laughs> I chose you. Okay, that's all right. I agape you. That's the type of love I'm talking about. You were the first person in my life that I've experienced that with. So thank you. I truly do love you. So with that, um, just uh, not so much a toast, I guess, as a blessing, but I just pray God's blessing on the two of you as you endeavor in this marriage, you will succeed. And then as your dad, um, Maddie and Bobby, as your father-in-law, it's my privilege to call myself that, it's my privilege to call you son. So daughter and son, welcome to our family. May God bless you, you have my blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I give you Mr. and Mrs. Bobby and Maddie Dean. I'm too afraid of losing it all. Cause if I leave everything on the table, then you might break my heart. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. But I know all my life is doesn't come. Present for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Dean. Just can't bring myself to give up. Mr. and Mrs. Dean!